Welcome back everyone to Aussie Scrapper. I am participating in another challenge with from the Scrap the Boys Facebook page and the July challenge was to use stars on your layout. So I gave it some thought. I went to my silhouette machine and I found this lovely cut file that said twinkle twinkle little star do you know how loved you are and I just thought wow I think I like that. So I decided that instead of using stars on my layout, I would go with a threes. And that's exactly what I did. My original idea was to back the words with all sorts of different papers, some patterns, some colours. And I will admit I did spend some considerable time doing this, but for some reason it just wasn't working for me. So I went back to my stash and I even pulled out some nice gold glitter paper. But no, that wasn't going to work for me this time round. So I put it aside and I moved on. I always like to play with my Distress Oxides. So here I am using the colour Evergreen Burrow and I'm just putting it on a stamping block, spritzing it with some water and away I go. The old packaging technique on a stamping block. Then I decided stamping block didn't work for me so when I used the shaded lilac and the wild honey I actually went back to a little package and the wild honey was to bring in some of the orange that was around my son's shirt and I just kept adding layers upon layers of colour or well, those three colours till I was happy with the outcome. So I went back into my stash of paper and I found this gorgeous paper from Tim Holtz Craft Core. It's called Shattered and it just went perfectly as a backing paper behind all those lovely words and that's exactly where it stays. I always like to map my photos so I pulled out this lovely Kaiser Craft 6x6 inch paper pad and it's called Indigo Skies and oh my gosh it is gorgeous but in my stash I pulled out this lovely bluish sort of scrap paper I that was my first mat then of course I had to get my mementos grey flannel just to ink the edges and look at that paper from the paper pad I just love it so once again I'm just trimming the edges just so it's all even inking it with my mementos grey flannel colour and thought about adding another layout but no I don't do that I just use those two layers and here I am I'm just going to adhere the uh, my original paper onto that lovely Tim Holtz paper because I just decided that that's what I was going to use and away I go this layout is finally coming together I had to get my silhouette mat back into focus and all I'm doing here is some of the words yeah I had to glue in the little I don't know what they're called, the little bits of pieces inside it so you can make out what the letters are. Anyway, I'm not going to bore you with the whole thing. I just showed it on the first twinkle and yeah, it was just um, a bit of a tedious job to go in and pull out all those little bits of paper and glue them down. But then I, I thought, oh no, they're so stark white against my lovely packaging technique so I just went in with a stencil brush and coloured them all in with a few of the different colours that I'd originally used. I'm now going through my stencils and I was actually looking for a star stencil and I only had one. I wanted small ones but anyway you make do with what you have. So with this stencil I'm using this lovely new Nouveau Mousse and my gosh I love it. It's sort of a nice light colour and yeah, I just um, stenciled all around this piece of paper and I quite like the effect. And I just left it to dry naturally and came back to it, I think it was probably the next night. Stars are all dry now, so the layout is nearly complete. I went into my stash and I, had, I found these lovely little die cuts from the Regix store. And I loved that saying there, so I decided I'd put it behind that little... Uh, frame there which I actually made from one of my cake decorating molds. Now here I am, I am channeling my inner Missy Whitten and she loves putting thread behind everything and I just thought that was quite appropriate on this layout so I did. 
this little tag is also from those lovely die cuts and I'm just doing some journaling there and of course I'm going to put some thread through that little thing there. Now that um, journaling card lands up being a little bit too big so what I just did was the bottom bit I just cut it off and I think that's just a nicer size there and I inked it with some of my grey flannel mementos ink and yeah just going through the die cuts and seeing what, what stays. And yeah, I love that little green thing, but I wasn't going to use the bottoms of it, so I, I just like the shine, so that goes down. And yes, it's nearly at the end here, so just doing a bit of layering, and a bit more of those threads there, just poking through. And yes, I love the effect. Saw these lovely leaves from that die cut, so I thought that would be a nice little touch to add there. And yeah, it came along nicely. Oh! Going through my die packs again, and I love this little Admit One ticket to Everyday Memories. And yeah, this photo was nothing special. It was just a photo that I took one day because I thought he was looking cute. So yeah, so Everyday Memories. Very appropriate little little ticket. So just um, basically gluing everything down. So this is the final product. Thank you everybody for putting up with me and watching till the end. If you're still watching, it is. I appreciate all your support and I hope you all stay well and if you're in Australia, stay warm. It's freezing today. Anyway, till my next layout, I hope you all well and see you soon. Bye everyone.